Hello, <clears throat> my name is Victor and uh, welcome to this video tutorial on how to create a procurement template. So in this video, you're going to learn a few things, uh, uh, not so much, but uh, you're going to learn how to come up with a, a design like this. This is a uh, an invoice like style for a purchase order. You're going to learn how to create tables uh, and uh, eventually you will have something like this a purchase order at worksheet worksheet tab that has uh, this information your company logo a purchase order heading purchase order number date uh, supply ids uh, your addresses items that you're purchasing so these will be editable so that you can add new items here and say you want to add some quantities you can get a list of items down here then you will have a item database table that will be storing your item uh, information the items that you stock so they will have id description unit cost unit of measure in stock and value at hand you also have a suppliers table so in this table you will have uh, your supply information so they are uh, they are they are name they are addresses they are email their phone number and you can add more if you need to and then finally you'll have a po database so in this po database is where after you have raised the purchase order uh the information will be stored in a table for future references because uh, this really is just a, a a page that can be printed you can print this if you need to maybe deliver a hard copy you can export to pdf so that's the purpose of this first page it is to have a, a kind of a document that you can uh, print out or send as a copy or email to your suppliers as a document that has proof of the purchase order so however the information that is stored in the PO database is there for storing so if we were to save this all this information let me go ahead and do save yes okay all this information these uh, one two three four items will be now saved in our database like so so that's the purpose of this PO database table then you can delete this and create a new one so as you've noticed the PO number uh, auto increments to new PO numbers once we raise so if we let's say we we delete this item notice I've just deleted the description and uh, and the rest and the quantity and the rest of information have, have disappeared so if I maybe change this to electric mode no I change this to hydrogen tanks and then I say 10 here so notice if I click on save yes the PO number increases to 4. It was previously 3, now it's 4. This is because it's checking the last PO number from our database and auto increment it so that you don't have to write it all the time. As well, if I change the company, the supplier name here, it also changes the, the email, the address, the supplier ID. And uh, if I change this to prime movers, it will bring the information. <clears throat> so this worksheet has been automated. Uh, using some functions which is uh, which you now will bring up all this information once you change the item description and once you change the company name so that's how it's going to be and uh, so I'd like to show you now how we can create this uh, from scratch <laughs> 